You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go. Scintillating lightweight matchup here. Tony Ferguson versus Conor McGregor. And if you're Conor McGregor, it's a hard guy in Ferguson to simulate and train. Yes, how do you find somebody to match the length, the awkwardness, the different approach of Tony Ferguson? Conor has to be ready to go from the start of the fight. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home over. Uh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you. That can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Well, you see Conor McGregor land the left hand and then move out of harm's way in terms of distance management, DC. Nobody does it better than this guy. Able to check the high kick. When both are prepared, these are the type of fights that we expect. Nice punch to the head. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Oh! oh huge left. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, a huge block there. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of... You heard him again. Huge left hand. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Leg kick lands. Now touches him with the left. So 40 total strikes have now landed for Elk. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is a ball of gun. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the head kick. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas. He got hurt again. Second to round one. Oh, he ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yeah. All right, so there's the heart at the end of the round. Thankfully for him, he will live to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds, that likely would have been the end of his night. All right, so his legendary chin holds up. Round two now is upon us. Conor Ready McGregor fight. and Tony Ready. Ferguson. Let's do it. certainly the case for his opponent tonight. Absolutely. He's so long. He's so tall. He